गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम गांधी नगर वेयर द कंट्री इज इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ होल्डिंग द बिगेस्ट इवेंट ऑफ द डिकेड एज द गवर्नमेंट से इज द डिफेंस एक्सपो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड वी हैव विद फ्रॉम द रोल्स रोयस टू वेरी सिमिलर साउंडिंग जेंटलमैन केविन डैफी who is senior vice president governmental for rolls royce solutions and gs selvan who is managing director for npu in india welcome gentlemen how does it feel like to be here here in the city of gandhi we'll begin with you kevin hi sanjeet so um it's it's a real pleasure to be here and i think the first thing i'd say is after all we've had over the last two years with uh, covid It's great to be able to travel back to India and uh, reconnect with all of our customers here. India has been a massive market for us uh, for many many years. We've been a great partner with the Indian Navy and the Indian Coast Guard uh, and we're here really to sort of cement those relationships with those end users and also with the shipyard customers as well. So absolutely delighted to be here uh, and really looking forward to the rest of the show. And Selvan, you are a guy in India. How does it feel to be here at such big a show post COVID? That's a great question. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, I am, and we are excited to be part of the defense exhibition standing on the ground right now. Uh, Rolls Royce Solutions uh, MT India. We remain committed uh, to the strong legacy of uh, collaboration with the defense forces, uh, including uh, uh, looking at localization as a part of our uh, India initiatives. meeting the government requirements as we say that uh, even our products that we are showcasing here in the exhibition whether it is uh, state of the art uh, engines uh, the series 4000 or series 8000 or nautic uh, mast uh, which is the naval automation solutions they are all set state of the art uh, 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 trying to meet the customer requirements so that's a great place to be uh, showcasing our capabilities and uh, trying to partner with uh, with our naval and defense uh, in india or you are coming from germany yeah. and uh, what does it feel you know because suddenly uh, you know india india you already had a very big office in india everything but suddenly we realized that we needed you know you guys to be here for this event does it make the event bigger for you and what are your aims with which you have come to this uh, uh, def expo of this year yeah i mean um, i mean this is a huge event uh, and uh, and as i say it's the first time many people have actually got together in this form of event um there are similar events around the world but i think it's great that india has put this exhibition on yet again i know it's done it uh, many times in the past the key thing for us is to make sure that um, we continue to be seen in the country we're here to support the country and there's a huge put a huge push now towards indigenization of our capability and products and we're working with uh, our colleagues here at mtu india to do that and we're going to be working with a lot of our sort of partners in the country to look at how we but we actually upskill india and we provide more content into the indian market with our products as well because it's so important indian taxpayers are investing a lot of money in their defense capability and they want to see that money spent with indian companies and what we really want to do this week is to look what we can do to really realize that aim of the government where they want to make in india a build in india supply in india and support in india and that's what we're here to do wonderful and selvan tell me one thing does that also mean increasing your local supply chain absolutely you know um, um the way we look at india is it's a big market for us and india is one of the very key strategic uh, uh, locations as far as our growth strategies are concerned and uh, the way we are trying to do is uh, we are already graduating from a engine manufacturer and seller in the country to to locally producing and uh, uh, improving solutions and developing a supply chain ecosystem having said that in line with the make in india initiatives the atmanir but self reliance of the government mod indian navy and indian coast guard and indian army as well we are looking at evaluating opportunities where uh, we will be bringing in uh, uh, local production that's where we will be creating uh, and adding value when we do that we will also be developing local supply chain to deal with the local content or the localization requirements right and uh, you know kevin Uh, is there, there is a very good uh, tie between germany and india now with your rolls royce solution in india does that mean also expanding to uh, other things uh, apart from just navy and coast guard yeah so um you know we're an industrial supplier so we supply into the power generation market we supply into 
rail, uh, other mobile applications like construction, industry and agriculture. So, um, and we've got some really exciting solutions uh, around things like microgrids. So, how do we support power systems that, that, that may be on weak supplies that don't have any uh, sort of uh, grid connected supplies? Uh, and these are based upon what we call sustainable solutions. So, can we use PV? Can we use uh, hydrogen as a fuel? Can we use wind? and bringing that all together to, to provide unique solutions. And I think India is a great place to actually pioneer some of these solutions because it's got its own challenges with power supplies, uh, feeding ports, feeding farms, feeding villages, feed, and, and even cities and hospitals. Uh, we believe that we've got some of those future solutions which will be sustainable and support the initiatives of the Indian government to move towards sustainable and self-reliance on fuels. Wonderful. And you know, now that the DEF Expo has just begun, uh, what are your expectations, Selvin, from this DEF Expo? Uh, this is a great place to connect. As we talked about a little earlier, you know, after COVID, this is one of the mega events and a great place to connect, great place to connect with the stakeholders. Customers also showcase our capabilities. Also, from a, a Rolls-Royce Solutions MP India standpoint, we are the fourth country outside of uh, Germany, US and China where we are leveraging already the talents in India. From an engineering standpoint, we've got an R&D center. We are leveraging the value supply chain ecosystem. We've got a global purchasing office. We have naval automation solutions here. We've got a joint venture that produces certain series of engines. And we've got a sales and service. All that we require in this country, we have got, you know, that we are trying to leverage and try to also showcase our capabilities where we can partner with also looking at what can be done in the country from a, from a Make in India standpoint. And I think it's important to say as well that India represents a great resource of talent for us. The talent that we can use around the world as well. You know, the, the level of education here is very high. Um, there's a great prestigious set of universities, technical universities here as well. Uh, and all of these represent great opportunities to bring people on and, and take them around the world as well. So, you know, we're a global player uh, and, a, and a, we need global leaders and we need global engineers. And, and actually, India is a great talent pool to get those people from as well. So, that's another reason we want to be here. We want to be seen here, we want to attract the best talent in India, and we want to be able to export that talent around the world if necessary. Right, and thank you very much, gentlemen. Wonderful speaking with you all. I'm sure you have very heavy five days in front of you. Hope to meet you post the show and get to know how it turned out to be for you both. Thank you very much. Thank you so much,